The target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the Joint Signatory Framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men, about what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. Stop swerving. Oh, you'd be dead by now. You're stronger than I thought. But not strong enough to stop the UFLL. They screwed you pretty good. So we've got new men in office. Now what do you think's gonna happen? You already know. The whole world knows. First, they'll take everything they can get their hands on. Rob the banks and the stores. Then, the men will be lined up against the wall and shot. Chop children's arms off and cut the tendons in their necks. And the women... It's a goddamn disease. It is a cancer. You see it, they can't get enough. They just take and take until it kills them. And once they're gone, someone else takes their place and their disease too. Every cell is infected. And the longer you stay, the deeper the virus goes. In the end, nobody will be left, just the disease. So what do you do with this particular situation? Quarantine the patients. Or you just get dirty along with the rest of them. my name when the blood comes spreading out of their necks. And you're not gonna stop me. You think I don't know you, what you're about, what you came here to do? Wake up. I used to be you. They're gonna think you did this. A dirty mercenary who'll do anything for a payout. That's good. It means the war will start all over again. The real bloodletting has begun. We're gonna cure these men of their disease, you and I. We're gonna pull it right out of their veins. What do you got there? Diamonds? <laughs> So far, so good. The civilians are gone. Most of them have already crossed the border. An entire country is about to disappear. They're in the way. We can't do our work if they're here. We have to isolate this disease so we can destroy it. I need you to do two things. There's a landing zone a cliff due east of here. The arms merchant is there with another briefcase full of diamonds. He's waiting for a chopper. He thinks he can get out of here. 
They're my diamonds, mine. I need them for the border troops, so you get that briefcase for me, understand? And there's the APR and the front. New guys in charge, and you put them there. They're together in one camp, now making their goddamn master plans. They know you, don't they? You could walk right into their bivouac and they'd let you, wouldn't they? Once you're in, you'd kill them both any way you'd like. Think of the possibilities. You know, people back home say they want to help. Every day I hear it, in the paper, on the radio. But they're lying. They're not ready to do what's necessary. They wear their halos and they stand by wringing their hands. You and me, we found a way. Meet me at the border when you're done. You're the only one who can do this. And here. Almost done. Give me the briefcase. They're all here. Good. We'll need them. The APR in the front is still coming after the civilians. Probably think they can kill them or drag them back over the border. The only ones who die today are the ones who have it coming. I planted some dynamite out there, by that overhang on the cliff. But the deck cord's no good, so one of us has to go up there and short-circuit the blasting caps. That car battery will do the job. The debris will block the road, keep the soldiers from following the refugees. And it'll kill the poor bastard that takes the job. That's either you or me. The other guy's gonna take those diamonds to the border and use them to bribe the guards, so there's no problems with the crossing. Those civilians are making it to the camps tonight, every last raggedy one of them. Then, when the handoff's complete, that guy, you or me, is gonna put a bullet into his own head. I do both jobs myself, but there's not enough time. The only way this is gonna work is if we see it the whole way through to the end. Every cell of this cancer has to be destroyed. That includes you and me. If we don't finish this, then the whole mission has been a waste, a farce. It'll start up again, just like it always does. So which one are you taking? Diamonds or dynamite? It's up to you. 